morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here. Hey, it's Fist Pump Friday. Hey, I moved our location. Uh, family and my wife was like, in the basement, so it's skeevy. So we went to the playroom. This is the playroom. All right. And again, we have a special guest to help us today with the, the fist pumps. And uh, let's get her going. All right. First, we got Abigail Shamba from a student. Excellent. Um... Uh, Showing excellence, uh, being on top of your assignments and getting things done. Yay! <laughs> Next, we got Chris Acker. Uh, this is from a colleague. Mr. Acker is always positive, professional, and is an outstanding member of our team. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> Next, we have Maria Rizzo. This was from a colleague. Uh, for professional. Miss Rizzo is an amazing member of our team. She is professional and works hard to support students. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> Big hand all around. Hey, next we have Sharon Shug from a colleague showing professionalism. Uh, Miss Flynn works hard to support her students and keep up the great work. Thanks for all you do. <laughs> Next we have Nathan Moran. This was from a student showing professionalism. Nathan has always been doing excellent work, uh, keeping up with all of his assignments. He is a true Spartan pride and is doing a great job. Way to go, Nathan. Next we have Julie Argento, a student for professionalism. Eden is, oh, hold on. Talk about Julie. Uh, Eden is demonstrating excellent work ethic during our distance learning. Keep up the great work. Woo! Next we have Jess Hess. Okay, showing professionalism. Jess is maintaining high expectations for herself while we are experiencing distance learning. Keep up excellent work. Woo! Yes. And Next, we got Grace Moran. Grace, uh, doing great work. Keep up the excellent effort. Yeah. Okay, okay. Only I get to woo, oh, okay? Okay, okay? Only I woo. All right. right. That's in my country. Okay. Okay. Brandon, next is, you can woo if you want. Mm, right. Okay. Uh, Brandon White. Uh, Brandon participates in class, reaches out via hang hangouts, is doing great, keeping up with class activities. He helps me out with technology. Woo! Next we have Katie Schmidt. Katie, hey, nice job. Uh, uh, Katie it has edited each episode of Spartan News. She is very hardworking and hasn't skipped a beat working from home. Good job. Hey, next we have Lauren Hesse. Hennessy, excuse me. Uh, Lauren was on a walk and she found a lost dog and she went out of her way to find the owner who was so thankful oh nice hey uh next we have sage hill going above and beyond doing her economics work <laughs> and finally finally we have nick berg uh is nick you always go above and beyond. I'm so proud of you staying on top of all your advanced networking assignments and learning the configuration commands. You are awesome. Woo! Woo! Hey, again, a special shout out to my daughter, Kaylee. She's Hi. a senior, 2020 rocks. Go seniors. Okay, and uh, ESM, hang in there. Richie loves you. In a discussion with Democratic nominee Joe Biden, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, and Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont have all acknowledged they are unprepared for a potential second wave of COVID-19 cases later in the year. Governor Whitmer said the state of Michigan is capable of ramping up testing, but without a vaccine, they would face shortages of testing supplies. Governor Murphy said his state has a lot of restocking in hospitals to do before they're ready. Governor Lamont said he'd have a stronger stockpile, but he wanted control of the supply chain in the hands of the governors and not the Trump administration. The CDC released some of their delayed guidance for schools, businesses, and other organizations to use when their state's reopen. They posted six one-page decision tool documents that use graphics to tell organizations what they should think about before opening. 
The tools are meant to be used for schools, workplaces, childcare, mass transit systems, and bars and restaurants. The CDC did also originally write a document for religious facilities, but that wasn't posted. They had drafted the documents more than a month ago, but they were shelved by the Trump administration. The CDC has prepared about 57 pages of extensive guidance that still has yet to be posted. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Central New York is beginning phase one of reopening today. Other New York counties that did not meet the requirements are having their shutdown extended by two weeks. Many businesses are allowed to reopen following strict safety protocols. These businesses include retail stores, construction, manufacturing, wholesale, and agriculture. Many stores will only have curbside pickup. Regions will be reevaluated every two weeks in order to determine whether or not they can move on to the next phase. Good morning, ESM, and happy Friday. I'm glad to say that we are getting some warmer weather soon. Of course, you know, in Syracuse, there always has to be a catch with our weather, so we're going to be getting some showers today, but it will get up to 71, but with some thunderstorms all day. Tomorrow is supposed to be gorgeous, though, a little bit cooler, around 66 all day with a low of 45. Sunday is supposed to be also rainy, along with Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but on Thursday and Friday, we're going to get some more spots of sun, which is good, but during all of those days, although it's going to be rainy, it's going to be staying really warm, so it's going to be in the high 50s to low 70s, which is a good sign that we are hopefully done with all the snow and I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and healthy. I'm Bella with your weather. New York Giants cornerback DeAndre Baker and Seahawks cornerback Quentin Dubari were both issued arrest warrants by the police due to armed robbery. It was stated that around $12,000 in cash and up to $25,000 worth of watches were stolen. Neither one of them has been arrested yet. Baker was coming off a decent rookie year. He was set to become one of the top cornerbacks on the Giants this year. Dunbar was set to join the Seahawks this year after spending five years in Washington. I'm Chris with sports. I will be looking forward to giving my friends a hug and just enjoying being in people's company without worrying about six feet apart. Have a great day, ESM. Something I'm going to appreciate when we're back is um, maybe even spending more time at home. Not coaching right now for the first time in forever. Um, I've enjoyed my time with my family, so maybe I'll appreciate that a little bit more. Um, and what will I appreciate more when this is all over? Um, I will appreciate being with people, sharing hugs, laughing together, um, being in my classroom with my students. Uh, that's what I miss the most. Bye, guys. Love you. It's weird. That definitely sounds weird for the introvert that is me, but I miss the halls. I miss seeing you people. I miss just the energy that, that I feed off of when I'm at ESM. And one thing I would appreciate more is pretty much everything. I know it's not one thing, but everything from the students to being at school, human contact, not on a device, everything that was normal before. Can't wait to get back to it. Fingers crossed we see you guys soon. I think just coming to school and doing my job and talking to students and other teachers and um, yeah, because it is not easy to do what you do from a computer. So stay safe. Miss you guys. Take care. See you soon. I think just being able to hang out with my friends again um, in person, um, I'll really appreciate that. I think the thing that I would appreciate most, in addition to seeing my wonderful students, would be the informal, spontaneous gatherings that happen in the English workroom. I hope all of you are well, and I can't wait to see you again is the ability to hug my family and friends again. No computers, yeah. There's gonna be a lot of whiteboard and board markers, paper, pens, talking, 
just no computers. What will I appreciate more after things go back to normal is people. I am gonna appreciate people a lot more. Students, friends, colleagues, the former student that cuts my hair. So I'm definitely appreciative of people and just having that one-on-one -on -one time. Honestly, I'm gonna just say this without crying. Ready? Seeing my students five out of seven days a week, just seeing their smiling faces, um, having conversations with them and about life and miss you guys. I miss you all. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you soon. Hey, those are my donuts. I gotta go.